Hi, my name is Ashton Hayward and I work as the mayor of the city of Pensacola and I'm responsible for the 54 plus thousand citizens in the city of Pensacola and the most important thing that the American do every single day is the public safety of his or her uh, citizens in Pensacola, Florida. The unique thing about Pensacola is that we own four enterprises. So we all know about what sanitation does. We own a port, we own uh, an airport, and we own a natural gas company. So it's a very unique city and uh, the responsibilities that I have. I manage a 220 plus million dollar budget. I've got close to 800 employees that all work for the pleasure of the mayor. And obviously our responsibilities are to make sure the roads are paved, make sure our potholes are filled, make sure our sidewalks are taken care of. Pensacola is very unique that we have 93 plus parks uh, that are just beautiful. We sit on Pensacola Bay and uh, we're America's first settlement. So as the mayor, you're really pushing the vision of the city. Uh, one of the most important things that I have pushed in my administration and what I do every single day is talk about the quality of life in Pensacola and the best place to live, work and play and focus on creating the right environment for people to thrive, whether it's businesses, whether it's students at our universities, whether it's the young folks coming up in Pensacola, Florida, but really put a great light on Florida. And as you know, Florida is the third largest state in the union. Uh, we're growing uh, at an extremely fast pace. And a lot of people are finally moving to Northwest Florida, which growth is very important for uh, when you want to do infrastructure, when you want to have a population base and a tax base. And um, again, the mayor is always pushing the vision of the city, uh, making sure that we're moving in the right direction, make sure get, we're getting more flights out of our airport, uh, creating the right environment, as I said, for, for jobs. But really, when you think about what cities do, we take care of infrastructure, public safety, and obviously the character and the integrity uh, of the community and what we do at, at City Hall. When it comes to stress level, uh, that's a great question. Stress is uh, a big part of my game, so to speak. And, um, I think I do a, a good job at managing stress, but like you and anyone, uh, stress is a big part. You have family issues, you have personal issues, you have work issues, uh, you have a lot of people, and you have a lot of responsibility in my job of uh, taking care of 50,000 plus people in a certain capacity. And so when you think about that, they all factor in. So I try to stay healthy. I try to uh, go to the gym about six days a week and uh, ride my bike and uh, eat, eat um, good and, and do those things that you have to do to manage stress. But I do have a lot of stress. Sometimes I try to you know, put it over in the corner and compartmentalize it. But the truth is we all have stress in our life and that comes in different uh, variables. And when it comes to work hours, uh, I'm really on the clock seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Obviously, I try to get some sleep as the mayor, but you never know what um, the call you might get in the middle of the night. Um, so the job's really a 24 hours uh, uh, a day job, because as the mayor, when you walk out of your front door, you're always on. Uh, so as the mayor, you know, when it comes to educational experience, my degree is in political science. Uh, I thought I wanted to go to law school and um, uh, or get my master's degree. Uh, I graduated from Florida State University and of course my parents wanted me to go into further uh, education and uh, post uh, education. And I think it's important as the mayor that you, um, you know, political science, obviously, you know, I understood government and how important civics is and how government works, whether it's on the local, state or federal level. And I think everyone as a citizen in today's, uh, you know, uh, world, we need to know what's going on with our with our government and when it comes to politics. But, you know, I, I would recommend focusing uh, psychology, I think is very important because you meet a lot of people and you have to read a lot of people. Uh, the social sciences are very important and uh, public administration is very good. But one of the critical things that I think when it comes to government is you're working for the public. So we are public servants and you have to be a selfless servant. So even if you're an employee and you're not the mayor, you have to know that you're working for the, for the people. And I think that's very important to be educated in that. And those are just really personal skills and social skills and communication is, is paramount to the success, not just in government, but any job uh, that you might do in, in the future. Uh, I think skills uh, when it comes to listening is very important. You must be patient in government in my job. And again, I can't stress the factor of, of putting others first. And really, you have to work on that every single day to be selfless because um, it can be stressful, as we mentioned earlier, uh, on many components of, of what I do personally, but really what every um, employee of mine might do, whether it's in parks and recreation, whether it's in um, 
you know, out, uh, you know, taking care of sanitation, whether it's at the airport, you're dealing with the public. And when you deal with the public, uh, again, you have to be very calm. You got to listen and you got to be patient because you really never know what someone's going through uh, in, in their day. And um, one of the things that I didn't expect is um, probably how much information flow that I get every single day and the kind of the data um, that I'm, I'm taking in every single day. Um, it can be overwhelming at times. And uh, one of the skills that I would learn to master, uh, no matter what you go into, but especially government, is multitasking. Um, because again, you're always dealing with the, uh, the public and they always might have an issue, whether it's public safety, whether it's the finance of uh, our budget, uh, whether it's a city council member, whether it's a pothole, uh, whether it's one of their parks that they love, that they play tennis in, the lights might be out. Um, there could have been an issue with someone visiting your community that's never been here and when you're the mayor, you're always selling the community and so they might have fly into our airport and they might have had a poor experience and you have to address that um, and be very respectful and listen and try to find a solution. One of the things that I always try to do, which I think is very valuable um, when you get out of school is, is really remember it's value, benefits and solution, uh, solutions to bring to any kind of challenge or problems. Yeah, the best part of my job as the mayor is I get to work with the public and I get to, to hear what the public wants, um, what their expectations are, and what are the goals that we need to achieve as an administration. I've been fortunate to serve the public of uh, the city of Pensacola for eight years and they were really focused on downtown and having a thriving downtown and I was a big believer in how important urban is, a, is for a community and what I mean by that is People love the pro-social side of no matter where they are. They like to visit a big city because it's very dense when it comes to population. And Pensacola's uh, downtown was really, really uh, special with the grid system, the way the, the streets lined up and having to have a street like Palafox, which is our north-south corridor, to really create that environment from art. Um, we have a Sanger Theater and really get people coming to great restaurants, going to, to shows, uh, whether it's a, a great bar, um, coming to see the opera, the ballet, the symphony, the, the museum, our parks downtown, all those things that you do with family, your, your grandkids. Um, so me interacting with the public is very important. And then the mission of trying to achieve smart things when it came to the environment for me, I was able to build three natural gas fueling stations, really focusing on clean energy was a, a really cool thing that I've done in the eight years and working with my team here at the city of Pensacola. But for me personally, I like to set out goals for myself, uh, figure out what the mission is, get collective buy-in from other folks that might be um, uh, more astute at a, at a subject matter than I am, uh, but take my skill sets and really execute on that. So I've been very fortunate to do that. I feel like as a community, we've really achieved a lot for uh, our area, and especially in the Southeast, and people that are finding out about Pensacola that really never had visited Pensacola. And most importantly, my locals, we've changed the behavior, uh, and we've changed the culture in Pensacola, where they know that we can win, and we can uh, be a player in Florida and the Southeast, and, and in America, for that matter. Um, when it comes to the worst part of the job, uh, I think, you know, not having a lot of time with my family. I'm fortunate to have an incredible wife and um, I have a 14-year-old son. Uh, they've both been a big part of my administration and working hard when I ran for office and supporting me. Um, I have three sisters, uh, one lives in Atlanta, uh, two live here. So, you know, you, you put your family on hold uh, when, you, when you're a public servant. So probably that's been the worst part of the job. You know, my final advice to, to anyone uh, that's looking to, to be in politics or, or getting out of school and, and going into the, into the workforce today is incredibly important to not be scared to, to fail. I think, um, you know, the biggest failure is not trying. And all of us get scared at times and um, it, it's, it's challenging. But uh, if you love government, I would highly recommend interning at a city hall, a county office for one of your state representatives, one of your state senators, uh, even you know, take the risk of uh, sending a, a letter to your congressman up in Washington, D.C. or your senators. Uh, really learn what government's all about because uh, as we said earlier, it's really about serving the public and we are public servants. Uh, so that's a really great part of what you can do in your life and I would recommend volunteering. Volunteering 
uh, in an organization that you know nothing about, that you learn about this organization, how it impacts your community, and the value that it's bringing to folks in your community. So that's very, very important. And, and most importantly, again, listen to people, um, listen to what, what their background is, the challenges that they've had in their life will help you find solutions for whatever um, you know, issue that you might be working on. And it's, it's difficult at times, but really reach out to those around you and putting others first uh, will allow you to really, I think, get more motivated and being successful in life. And you'll see uh, how that really can impact whatever your job is. You know, it's the same old things that we've all learned. Open doors uh, for, for ladies. Uh, say good morning to people. Say good night. Ask about their families and be genuine about it. Be authentic about what you're doing in life. And it's those simple skills that you've always learned in life, but sometimes we forget them because we get extremely busy in life and we all have challenges, whether that's paying for school debt, uh, whether that's studying for a test, whether that's taking care of a parent, whether that's working two or three jobs while you're going to school. Um, so, you know, everyone has challenges in life, um, but you know, you're gonna learn more from your failures and your successes. So be willing to take risk, um, obviously calculated risk, but uh, you have to take risk in life. And don't be scared to go get in that uh, master's degree, uh, law degree, uh, medical degree. Uh, you know, listen, nurses and teachers, they're my favorite because uh, they're educating our young people, the future of tomorrow. Our nurses are taking care of people and you know, when we're sick, you know, you want someone to, to be there. So these are great fields to, to, to look at, in my opinion. Uh, and there's nothing like public service. I gave my 40s uh, to public service and it's been the best experience uh, of my life so far, and uh, I highly recommend it, uh, whether it's a short while. Um, but again, it's all about working for the public and being a public servant. Uh, and definitely, definitely volunteer, no matter if it's for 30 minutes a week, an hour a week, uh, be a big brother, big sister, uh, help an elderly person, our seniors, you know, they have the same ideas, they have the same dreams, they had all the same things that we had as young people. And life goes by extremely uh, fast. That's a cliche that we all know. Uh, but, but give back to, the, to the, the folks that came before us. Because at the end of the day, we're all standing on uh, the shoulders of giants that came before us. So work hard, uh, never quit, and uh, you know, be good to your, your fellow man. Thank you.